Hello dentist, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to talk about uh, pericronitis. Before we start our topic today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Let's start with the definition of pericronitis. It is an inflammation or infection of a soft tissue surrounding the crown of a partially erupted tooth. So as you can see here in this diagram, you can see this is the soft tissue okay, surrounding the crown of a partially erupted tooth. So this is a partially erupted tooth, not, uh, not yet erupted, okay? So including the gingival or the gums and the dental follicle. The uh, soft tissue covering a partially erupted tooth is called operculum. So this part we call it operculum. And what is operculum? Operculum is an area which can be difficult to access with normal uh, oral hygiene methods. So it's difficult to clean the tooth, okay? Difficult to make uh, brushing of the tooth, okay? So it's difficult to clean the crown. So this is called, we call it operculum. It occurs in lower third molars so it's more it, it mostly affects the lower third molar let's talk about signs and symptoms of pericronitis okay so here what are the signs and symptoms of pericronitis it depends on the severity of infection first uh, there are three uh, levels of infection mild moderate and severe okay Let's start with the mild. There, the patient comes to the clinic with a swelling of the soft tissue around the crown of the tooth and he complains of bad taste and pain due to the, of course, due to the infection uh, around the uh, area, around the area or in under the operculum. Moderate uh, infection is due to, uh, so a patient comes to the clinic with lymphadenopathy, trismus, extraoral swelling okay so he cannot open his mouth properly due to the inflammation or infection of this uh, operculum or uh, this we call it pericronitis okay in this case we call it per pericronitis so this patient has lymphadenopathy trismus extraoral swelling okay in case of severe cases or in severe infection the patient uh, feels malaise fever spreading there is a spread of infection and abscess formation so there is pus okay in case of severe infection so can you see here we call this this call, this is the part we call it operculum so this is a soft tissue which covers the uninterrupted crown or tooth and here there is uh, when they call when the two the upper four or the upper uh, eight uh, or we call it the upper uh, third molar and the lower third molar when they collide together this will lead to pain on the operculum okay and this will know what is the treatment plan for such a case okay later okay this is again and this is the operculum covering the crown of the tooth okay let's go to the next okay this diagram shows an operculum okay and uh, here we have inflammation or infl inflammation and swelling of the operculum. We have inflammation and swelling of the operculum. Due to what? Due to what? It's due to food impaction or accumulation and infiltration of the anaerobic bacteria. So the operculum is inflamed and swollen due to food impaction or accumulation and infiltration of the anaerobic bacteria. Here this part we, we call this partially erupted as this tooth here it is can you see that the level of bone it is sub it is submerged or it is partially erupted it did not erupt yet it still wants to erupt but it cannot erupt because of the here we have this perculum okay and it's it's still not erupting okay and we call it also impacted wisdom tooth it is impacted inside the bone impacted means it's inside the bone okay let's finally talk about the treatment plan for uh, pericronitis so treatment plan depends on the severity of the infection so if a patient comes with uh, 
we said uh, mild, moderate, or severe. It depends on the severity. So uh, let's uh, look at uh, the treatment plan. So we get, uh, give oral hygiene instructions such as cleaning, okay, or telling the patient to brush his teeth around the tooth, and the operculum with chloroxidine, okay, mouthwash or uh, hot salty water, hot wa uh, salty water, okay, as a mouthwash. Also, uh, how can we relieve the trauma uh, from the opposing tooth? We can grind, grind the cusps. So we can grind, can you see here in this radiograph? We can grind the cusp here, okay, reduce the cusps and or we can extract tooth, okay? So if it's harming the lower uh, third molar here and it's preventing it from eruption. Uh, Analgesics, we can give analgesics, okay, and antibiotics. In case of severe infection, may you may a patient may need hospitalization, intravenous antibiotics, removal of lower third molar, or incision and drainage. 